room tour. Bathroom is here and this screen like can open and close for privacy if you want. Shower's here. Toilet here. And then in here you've got like storage, like the wardrobe and stuff like that. I'm not going to bore you with that. <laughs> Teas and coffee station here. And yeah. And we're on Shakes Aid Road, so it's just a view of. So yeah, we're all checked in. It's about 10.46 now. I'm gonna have a quick shower, freshen up, and go to Dubai Mall for some breakfast. We're so tired, but we're gonna try and stretch it out. Okay, so we are all showered and ready. We're just going for brunch in Dubai Mall. It's called Social House. And then we might even just end up hanging around and staying for dinner. Can't forget my fragrance of the day is Roses Vinny by Mancera. One of my favourites, as you can tell. Look at the dent in that. Social House it's in Dubai Mall. It's actually really nice. I'm gonna try and leave an itinerary in my description bar for like all the places that we've been to um, or recommend. <laughs> Sorry, we're just going to Zara now. See if I can pick something up. And um, yeah, Ali wants to pick up a few white t-shirts, just t-shirts in general. Also, I'm trying to heavily, heavily avoid looking at like perfume stands. Um, slash shops because we're gonna go to the soup on Tuesday or well, at some point in the week anyway and I know we'll just get a lot more better deals there so I'm really really trying to just close my eyes when we pass perfume shops I love fragrance so so much like yeah I'm trying to have some self-control right now back at our hotel now we are going to have a nap because we're so 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 tired if you watched my last vlog you know how busy the last week has been so we're gonna have a nap a much needed one and then we're gonna go back to Dubai Mall for dinner we were gonna go to PF Chang's so yeah today's pretty chilled and then the activities probably start on tomorrow so yeah we're just trying to take it easy today so I had a much needed nap and we're on our way to have dinner back at Dubai Mall and then um, 
gonna go to I think like a shisha um, lounge place after as well so what's the time now it's 6 25 so we aim to be back not too late so that we are well rested for the full on day that we have tomorrow for my babe's birthday By the way, just got in town And I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky Ruin my vibe Usually I don't do this often But since recruiting isn't an option Due to unusual rain and thunder Baby, I wonder Good morning. Today is my husband's birthday. We are just making our way to um, Dubai Marina because we're he's we're doing um, like a breakfast on New York. Um, where did I put my perfume? Our booking's for ten o'clock, but we had to get there for like nine thirty, and it's quarter past now, and it takes like twenty minutes to get there. So I'll probably get there about nine twenty-five or so, but we're still good for time. Although I know he's secretly stressing because he doesn't yeah, want to be late. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, way we're gonna have a day, man. I know. Look at my means. <laughs> so handsome. Thank you, babes. <laughs> my fragrance of the day is Valentino Born in Roma. This is one of my favorite, favorite, like daytime or brunch or anything cute fragrances this is my go-to hence why i've got a shiny neck i've definitely over sprayed this one love it um so we're gonna head down now and we'll catch up when we're in new york Dubai Safari Park to see like the lions and feed the giraffes but we didn't realize that because it's so hot their sessions are either really early morning or late evening so we can't do that anymore and it's so hot right now it's like 42 degrees it's so hot that I've had to take my shoes off fortunately Ali bought some flip-flops I'm wearing them now my feet are swollen from the heat so um, I guess I just need to drink a lot more water, like more than I usually would, because it's, it's just so hot. It's 42 degrees, it's, it's boiling. So um, yeah, we're just gonna get a taxi back to our hotel and figure out what to do in between. Um, yeah, because we're going for dinner tonight, so I'm just gonna figure out what to do in the day now. Hi guys, so we just got back to the hotel. So what we've decided to do is use the spa in the hotel and we've booked a massage as well. So we're gonna do that 
in, the, in about the next hour so I'm just gonna like wash off my makeup and just unwind a bit have another shower and then we'll head up to use the spa and get the massages and then we're just gonna come back and have a nap and then go out for dinner tonight it's so hot I feel like the heat plus the sleep deprivation from the last few days is just a different kind of combo because I'm so tired so yeah we're gonna do that it's gonna be nice and chilled we need this rest anyway so I'm actually happy we didn't end up going to the zoo because I just feel like it would have been too much of a full-on day and we would have just been too shattered <laughs> by tonight so yeah just gonna preserve some of our energy and get a massage instead so we'll see you in a bit and also with the massages um obviously because it's an arab country it will, are, it won't be together so we'll just be in two separate rooms because obviously we, men and women and that stuff so yeah hours before we have to leave so we can take our time hi guys so i'm ready for dinner now um my fragrance of the night is maison crevelli hibiscus mahajad and um ken halligan's halfetti beautiful 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 combo like beautiful so that's what's all over my neck at the moment. So yeah, we're leaving to go for dinner now. We've got um, we've got reservations at Asia Asia, which is about 20 minutes from our hotel. I'll probably insert like a clip of my outfit later on in the video because we're actually we actually need to leave. We actually need to leave like now. So yeah, so far it's been such a nice day. Like it's been so nice and. I really hope that my husband has enjoyed his day. I have, well, thank you so much. But yeah, it's been good. It's been beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. We really needed this break. We do miss our babies though, but it's been so nice. Hold on, let me see if I can get a picture of my outfit. So this dress I actually took from my sister. <laughs> my sister's dress shoes are from ASOS bag I can't actually remember where I got this from it's a proper nice dress very cute judge me but look at the time what's that I don't know if you can see 11.39 well 11.40 Dubai time and I literally just woke up like 10 minutes ago oh, I'm so shattered I feel like I was still in like a sleep deficit since before we even got here so if you watch my previous vlog 
you know that it was a really really busy week and I barely slept so then coming to Dubai and then going straight into like birthday mode for Ali and stuff there was just so much sleep deprivation so today is purposefully like a rest day for Ali and I like we didn't plan anything in our itinerary today it was just purposefully to rest so um Ali's gone to the gym this morning well nearly afternoon I'm about to do my devotional <clears throat> I'm about to do my devotional and then we're just gonna like use the spa facilities today go for brunch locally and then um, later on in the evening in our hotel um, is a restaurant slash lounge called Miss Lily's a Caribbean restaurant so we're gonna go there in the evening one of his friends has put on an event which we're gonna go to and yeah so we'll just catch up with you then to be honest because we don't have very much planned today besides miss lily's in the evening and yeah so i'm just gonna do my devotional now so yeah we'll catch you tonight later hi guys so we are just getting ready to leave for the what is what actually is the event it's a uh... It's just an event, um, it's called Jerk and, Jerk and Lime. Yeah, Jerk, Jerk, and, Lime. Jerk and Lime or something like that. So one of Ali's friends actually puts actually puts on the event. I think I mentioned it earlier, I'm not sure if I kept it in the vlog. In our hotel, Miss Lily's is on the fifth floor. So we're going to that, um, babe, can you pass my rings in the bathroom, please? We're going to that event tonight. Um, so yeah, it should be good. We had such a nice, chilled, relaxing day. Like today was purposefully like a rest day for us. We're here for like eight days in total, so I'm probably gonna vlog collectively about five days because we really do wanna prioritize just rest and just being in the moment. And it's hard to do that when I've constantly got a camera out. But anyway, my scent of the night tonight is Cairo's Penhaligon. Absolutely gorgeous. This does not need to be oversprayed, literally five, about six, I guess. Beautiful scent. Just okay. So I'm gonna go to show you what I'm wearing. Just keeping it really simple. So I've got on this dress from Zara, and I'm wearing it with my Gucci slides and LV pouch and. Valentino earrings. Yeah, so that's me. You see when you get downstairs. And also, I didn't film too much inside Miss Lily's because my light was so bright and I just felt really obnoxious having like this um, light in a dark space. I just felt too obnoxious, so I didn't capture as much footage as I would have liked to. I'm sure people didn't mind, but I don't know, I just felt really obnoxious doing it. So we are up and ready. It's actually quite late in the day. Gonna go grab some brunch first and then head out to the perfume sook and then the gold sook. And yeah, I'm so excited, as you can imagine by now. Um, and yeah, and then in the evening, we're gonna go to a seafood boil place. That's meant to be really good. One of my friends recommended it to me actually. And yeah, I'm not gonna bring my camera <laughs> to the sook because I think it will just be too busy. 
So I'm just going to be vlogging on my phone. So if the quality changes, it's because of that. And yeah, we'll see you in a bit. So at the moment, we've come to Dera. Dera, yeah. Dera. So there's a spot that Ali likes to get shawamas from. So we're gonna get shawamas, and then it's a walking distance to the gold soup and the perfume soup yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. It's a lot different. I think this is like, is it downtown Dubai? Yeah, or this old? is old Dubai. So this is like the original Dubai. So things are significantly cheaper on this side. Um, when I first started coming to Dubai, this is where I came. So it's very sentimental to me. So oh, yeah. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, it's quite different. There are so many Nigerians here as well. I literally feel like I'm in Lagos. <laughs> but obviously it's not as chaotic. been out the whole day like the gold souk and the perfume souk is not for the faint of heart piece of advice to know the rate for the exchange rate or the rate for gold so you can haggle well because it's actually so chaotic like they'll try to bump you crazy but um yeah where is it and the perfume soup can be really overwhelming so I would advise you if you do want to go especially to the gold soup make sure you know the rate the rate of gold like the rate of gold per gram that way you can kind of haggle a bit better because if not they're just gonna add like silly silly fees on top so definitely know the rate of gold and um, yeah, just be mindful of that. And if you do buy, you can claim the tax back at the airport. And with the perfume, yeah, just have in mind the kind of fragrances that you want. But be mindful, a lot of places sell like fakes, like a lot of fakes. Um, so yeah, that was quite annoying. But um, yeah, I am gonna go back because I wasn't really happy with my experience today if I'm honest yeah I just feel like I was so unprepared so we're gonna go back probably over the weekend because we're here till Monday next Monday yeah so definitely go prepared and like know what you're doing if not you will get bumped and yeah <laughs> anyway gonna, I'm gonna go to bed now absolutely shattered damper was 10 out of 10 highly recommend we got the cajun seafood boil combo with extra sausage really really good um yeah tomorrow we're going to a beach club which should be nice and then what we're doing in the evening i'm not sure but yeah beach club tomorrow i've heard loads of nice things about the one we're going to and yeah so i'll see you in the morning good night Hey, hey, so we are just on our way out to Sun Beach Club. We're just going for brunch. It's so hot, like June, between June, no, between May and September, I think it's the hottest months in Dubai. So it's just too hot to be on the beach. So we're just gonna probably do the restaurant 
Mm, I'm not sure, but yeah. Fragrance of the day is Killian Love Don't Be Shy. This is one of my favorite, like, flirty fragrances. So yeah, we are heading out now. Just calling the taxi, we should be there in about 20 minutes. So where we're staying is Sheikh Zaid Road, which is quite, quite central to everywhere. So it's like five minutes, five minute drive from Dubai Mall. No, yeah, from Dubai Mall. And I think Sand Beach Club is on, on the Palm. So that's the furthest we've probably driven throughout this whole trip, to be honest. So one, I'm filming on my phone because cameras aren't allowed in here. I don't think they have the license for you to use your camera. So I'm using my phone and also we had to move inside because it's just way too hot outside. So we're going to enjoy our food inside and then probably go out for drinks but also do shisha on the beach as well so yeah once we've eaten and filled our bellies then we will head outside because it's just it's way too it's like 45 degrees nearly 15 degrees at the moment it is so like boiling so they were like look we advise you sit inside first and then go out last last now everybody go to breakfast to go bow for the result, nothing to discuss. Cause I did my wife, fought and without any doubt. I'm a me, I be a doubt. I don't go feed the girl, I don't go feed the girl. It's out. I'm a mind that's with the talk. I put my life into my job and I know I'm in trouble. She manipulated my love. at the beach club we're just gonna go to the mall which is literally like across the road kind of from 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 where we are you mean like mm. oh yeah. yeah thank you yeah we're gonna go there now and cool off because it is so hot like it's actually ridiculously hot <laughs> We're on our way back to our hotel now. If you are coming, we highly, highly recommend that you book the, you download the Kareem app. That's what we've been using to book like all our taxis and stuff. It's, it's so much cheaper than just stopping um, a taxi on the road. So yeah, definitely um, use the app and save a lot more money. Hi guys, so we are back at our hotel now. It's, what's the time? It's about eight o'clock. It's just been such a nice day. Really, really extremely hot. So tonight it's gonna be quite chilled. We're just gonna order food to our hotel. And then tomorrow we are going to, in the morning we might go back to the, to the souk to get some, cause we negotiated some gold for one of our friends. So we might go back there tomorrow to purchase and what else and get some fragrance as well and then we'll end up in global village yeah, so end in today's portion of the vlog and we'll catch up with you tomorrow
Hey, so we are all showered and freshened up again. We are gonna head out to uh, play some top golf and then go to, I believe, the Chinatown. We haven't fully decided what we wanna eat for dinner. So we'll probably end up at the at Chinatown at Dubai Mall. Yeah, there's a lot of things that are closed, just to note if you are coming in June, because of like the heat, there's things that will typically be open that is not. So for example, we wanted to go to, um, what's the name of that place again? What they Global do? Village. We wanted to go to Global Village, but it's their season ended in May because it's like kind of outdoors and there's different like stalls and stands and it's just too hot this time of the year. So they ended in May. So I'm guessing they'll probably open back up in September. Safari when the, Park as well. Yeah, and the Safari Park too, which we had planned. Like I had an, a whole itinerary planned. So we had to make a few adjustments because like there's just some places that are not open this time of the year because of it's just so hot. So just to bear in mind, if you do, if you are deciding to come like between like end of May to um, September I believe just bear in mind those are the hottest months in the year in Dubai so there's a lot of things that typically would be open that isn't just because of the heat I guess so yeah that was a bit annoying but we totally understand so yeah <laughs> just make sure when you're planning your itinerary for Dubai you are aware of like things that might be on your list that aren't open called the uber i'm sure i've mentioned it a few times in the vlog i'm not sure what i'm editing and not but download kareem app download kareem you will save so much money like it's just cheaper than um stopping the standard taxi i guess and also on the kareem app it's like a uber eats so you can order taxi and you can also also order food there's been some evenings when <laughs> after we've gone out for dinner we get back and we're still a bit hungry so we'll just order like um, wing stop or something like that to our hotel and yeah and also 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 if you are into like skincare and stuff like that so I use like tretinoin and azelaic acid you can buy it like over the counter without prescription in Dubai like it's, it's legit it's nothing dodgy but you just you don't have to get a prescription so I've literally stocked up in like five packets of azelaic acid let me show you um I got this just I use azelaic acid anyway but normally 10% but 20 anything higher than that you need a prescription so I just bought some of these in Dubai and it's, ooh, and it's the 20% one it was like seven pounds each and you can also get um tretinoin up to 0.5 percent as well which is great because you don't need a prescription you can just buy it and it's obviously a lot cheaper than buying it in the uk or getting it on prescription in the uk which is not even guaranteed so just thought that i'd just drop that in there if you're a skincare girly like me definitely know that you can get some pretty great stuff here over the counter but anyway, we will probably see you downstairs or when we get to Top Golf. See you later. And before I forget, my fragrance of the night is Mystique Bouquet by Afnan. I love Afnan fragrances so much. This actually smells like very, very similar to perfumes de Mali Vallejo. I would say it's like 90% similar. It just doesn't have the Akigala wood in it. But this lasts like, I would say, about seven hours on my skin and has a moderate projection. Whereas um, Vallejo, that is complete beast and will probably last like nine plus, 10 plus hours on your skin. But anyway, just so you know, they have this, an, Af an actual Afnan store here in Dubai. I did buy a few more fragrances from Afnan and it probably converts about 19 pounds each. Whereas I bought this in the UK for like 50 pounds but you can get it here for like 20 so yeah just so you know fragrance of the night mystique bouquet by Afnan and I'm an oversprayer <laughs>
So we've decided to get like a little bit from different places so that we can we just can't make our mind up, we're just kind of getting stuff from here, get stuff from there. They're giving us the ringers, so once it buzzes, we're going to eat our food. It's going to take about 10 15 minutes. And then after we finish eating, we're going to go to the cinema. So this, by the way, the, this is in Dubai Mall. And so when we're finished, we're going to go to the cinema, which is also in Dubai Mall, to watch Bad Boys. So yeah, it's quite a nice, it's been a full on day, probably one of the most full on, but it's been really nice. Like we're really, really happy. Like we really love this trip. It's been so good. We do miss our girls though. We really, really miss our girls. So it's like bittersweet because it's like, oh my gosh, we're leaving in like three days, but at the same time, we really miss our babies. And so yeah, <laughs> can't wait to eat because I'm so hungry. We haven't, we've only eaten like brunch or breakfast today. So we are currently headed out. I'm not naked, by the way. <laughs> we went to we went back to the gold and perfume soup this morning to just get some final bits. We're headed out now to a day party that one of Ali's friends is putting on. So we're just gonna go down now. We're just waiting for our Uber. This is my fragrance of the night. I actually bought this in the week from the perfume soup, and it smells so so nice. But um, yeah, this is our second to last day in Dubai. So I think this will be my last day of vlogging. I'm gonna do a separate vlog tomorrow for when we go to church. But anyway, I have to go now because so we are back at our hotel now it's still quite early in the day it's 8 34 like it's just been such a nice time it's been such a, a nice and needed trip in general um yeah so tomorrow we're going to church 
so it's gonna be low-key vibes I'm gonna do a separate vlog for tomorrow like from Sunday Sunday will have its own vlog so I'm gonna end the vlog tonight I hope you enjoyed um, the vlog today I feel like like even the footage I got doesn't actually like quantify the experience that we've had this time around like this is Ali's and I's like fourth or fifth time in Dubai and this has honestly been our best trip so far I definitely recommend like doing an itinerary sorry doing an itinerary before you come like having things planned out and organized so you just know what you're doing every day I think doing that helps you kind of budget really well so that you just don't end up overspending so you just know what's going on every single day that you're here and what else do I recommend um Kareem I mentioned that before um what else babe would you say sorry we're so tired like I just feel like yeah the last few days have been really full on again there's a lot that i've not added to the vlog because of time and stuff and just enjoyment you know you just want to enjoy the moment and stuff but i've tried my best but we are actually shattered like proper tired it's been such a good trip like ali and i have needed it so much i don't know if you watched my previous vlog but i was saying like the first few months of the year were really difficult because um if you're new here my husband has sickle cell so he had a few like crises at the beginning of the year like back to back and that was quite tough for both of us so this trip has just been so needed just for like rest and like <laughs> recovery and just enjoying each other and stuff like that so yeah i'm really really happy that god has allowed us to have some time away and has also kept our girls in the in the meantime as well like i'm so grateful for my mother-in-law like she's just amazing like an a complete angel so the girls have been with my mother-in-law the entire time so in total we've been in dubai for like nine it will be nine days eight nights and yeah it's just been so good like i can't wait to come back next year by the grace of god yes yeah, so. <laughs> it's just been so so good like i just it's just everything that we needed and yeah i'm just really really happy i'm really really grateful like god is really really kind and yeah it's just been such a good night so if i'm just all over the place it's because i'm genuinely exhausted like as much as we've tried to prioritize rest on this trip i'm so exhausted like we've been sleeping on average like 3 a.m in the morning and not because we're like out and about but well, actually, but because we're out and about. But yeah, it's just been so nice. Like, Dubai does not sleep. This has definitely been our best trip to Dubai so far. Like, yeah, there's a lot that we didn't do. So if you've not been to Dubai before, I definitely, like, recommend doing Atlantis Palm, um, the safari, the safari desert trip. Um, what else? like they normally have like um we've done like a dinner on the marina like on the boat that's really nice as well yeah so there's a lot that we didn't do this time around because we've been a few times so this time was just more so just enjoyment and not really touristic if that makes sense yeah so i hope you enjoyed the vlog um yeah i hope you enjoyed the vlog i hope you enjoyed watching i hope that it will give you kind of like ideas for things to do when you come yourself and yeah thank you so much for watching and again like i mentioned before there's going to be a separate vlog for sunday like sunday's going to be its own vlog because we're going to church out here sorry i sound so congested we're going to church out here so sunday's going to be its own separate vlog and yeah i hope you enjoy it love you so much thank you for watching if you haven't already please don't forget to like share and subscribe and please turn on your notification bells because the youtube algorithm is quite mad at the moment but yeah, I'm so grateful. Love you loads. Bye.